LFCS parents, it is early Thursday morning. It is October 25th, which means today is parent-teacher conferences. This is an exciting day for us here on campus because this is a very important day. You know, we want to take a, a look at a, a student's progress throughout this first quarter of the year. We want to see what kind of path they're on. And this is the opportunity for us to make adjustments in that path if we need to, or enhance certain things, take certain things away. And we want to do that in partnership with you as parents. Uh, our mission statement for the school uh, declares that, that it is a partnership between parents and teachers to get these kids educated, to get them learning everything they need to know, not just academically though, but we want to see them grow and mature in all the ways, socially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and academically. And so as we go through this process of the year, you know, one quarter's worth of data is a significant amount of data for us to work on. We definitely don't want to do this after just a few weeks. Uh, after, after just a few weeks, the students are still making adjustments. They're still trying to figure out maybe a new classroom or a new teacher's expectations. But a full quarter's worth of data gives us a good significant amount of data that we can work from. We can kind of project where a student is headed from here. And then if we need to make corrections, we can. Uh, and we can kind of make sure that the student is headed in the right direction. So I'm looking forward to this evening. Hope to see a lot of you here tonight. It starts uh, actually right after school. Many of the appointments start right after school. I know I've got one starting right at 3.15. And then I'm going on through the rest of the evening. Uh, but if you have not scheduled an appointment yet, make sure you get your teacher's link. And then make sure you sign up online. Uh, we've got a uh, sign up there. And if you don't have that link, you can call the office today uh, or check your uh, weekly emails. The link should be in there as well. And there are appointments set for all ages this time. So usually we do that in elementary school with all the students and we set their appointment times. But in high school this year as well, uh, the last few years have been a little chaotic in high school as all the parents are trying to meet with all the teachers. So what we've done this year for the high school, middle school and high school students is we have appointments set up with that student's homeroom teacher. The homeroom teacher will go over that uh, report card with you as a parent, kind of give you a good overview uh, of what is going on in your child's education. And then if you need a more comprehensive meeting or if you need to meet specifically with a specific teacher uh, about a specific class or a specific uh, uh, issue that you have going on with your child's education, then tonight would be the night to set the appointment for that. But tonight is just kind of a quick look at your child's education. Uh, this is not a comprehensive overview and dissection of a student's academic work. We want to get a good overview, see where things are at, uh, decide if we need to make some adjustments, and if we need a further conversation whether it's elementary, middle school, or high school, then we need to make appointments to have a further and deeper conversation. We can set that appointment tonight, and then we can make that uh, meeting uh, sometime down the road to make sure we cover everything that you need to cover for your child's education. But again, looking forward to a great night tonight. It's gonna be super fun. And then something that's coming up tomorrow night that might not be on everybody's radar, we actually have a production going on tomorrow night right here on campus. So a lot of you were there at Mary Poppins when we did our Mary Poppins production last year. And that was a very large, huge, big production. And going into this year, what we thought we wanted to do is we wanted to give the kids a little more experience doing that. So we're doing several smaller productions throughout the year. We actually have a theater club this year. We've got a number of students involved in that. So the theater club is going to be, be, be uh, if my mouth will work, we'll be putting on a performance on Friday evening, October 26th at 7 p.m. right here in campus. We'll be right in the chapel. Uh, and it's called Cinderella Wears Combat Boots. And uh, as I said, the theater club will be, will be performing. Many of you that have kids in the theater club are definitely aware of that. But if you don't have kids in the theater club, I would encourage you to come and join us anyway. Come see what's going on. Uh, see what the theater club has been working on since the beginning of the school year. And this is their first production. Uh, and this is all student led. So the students did almost everything for this production from costumes, from staging, to obviously acting in it, uh, preparing. Uh, but the students have had a huge role in every aspect of this production. So uh, I highly encourage you to come, even if your kids aren't in it, bring your kids along, have them support their classmates. It's gonna be a great evening, uh, just enjoying what these kids have been working on and seeing the progress they've made. And, like, and again, we wanna give these kids experiences beyond just one big production. That was an, uh, an awesome production. It was great last year doing Mary Poppins, but uh, only certain, there are certainly a number of roles for certain students. Uh, some students may want to try out different aspects of theater, whether it be stage directing, whether it be taking care of staging or costumes, or, or possibly acting. So if a child didn't get a chance to do exactly what they wanted in Mary Poppins, by doing smaller productions throughout the year, we give multiple kids multiple opportunities to do multiple different things involved with theater production. 
And so as moving forward, this is probably kind of the direction we're going to go. And I'm excited to see what the kids have to bring on Friday evening. So be sure to join us Friday night at 7 p.m. Watch the kids here in the chapel. It's free. There's no charge. I believe they are having a bake sale. So if you want to come and support our kids by buying a few baked goods, that'll be awesome as well. But again, 7 o'clock, Cinderella, Cinderella War Combat Boots, I believe is the name of the production. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's supposed to be pretty funny. I'm looking forward to a few laughs tomorrow night. Okay, so if I don't see you tonight, maybe I'll see you tomorrow night, but sometime over the next few days, I hope to see all of you here. Uh, again, connecting as parents and as teachers and as a school is very important. We are a family here at Fairfield Christian School, uh, and part of being a family is coming together for things like this, and I'm looking forward to it over the next couple days. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Hope to see you in the next couple days. God bless.